this is like th there's a there's a certain kind of physical struggle that you go through particularly with what you excel at which is endurance athlete work when when there's a mental and physical thing that happens when the two of them are together that mm -hmm. doesn't happen in anything else like you can do hard work hard mental work and it's very difficult and i'm sure you can learn a lot from that right but it doesn't have the f physical pain that comes with the suck of endurance work yes there's nothing nothing in the world that you're able i'm able to get let's say i that moab 240 i was in 62 hours fucking sucked it's just with blown out knees blown out knees literally the, a, a, a few days before the race i'm getting drained before the race so that's in your fucking mind man like it ain't like oh i show up to start like oh this is fucking great i'm gonna fucking have a good time out here no i'm thinking all right let's have my fucking knees drained like i'm i'm in pain at mile zero and that's in your brain i have 240 miles of fucking head of me and there's nothing in life nothing in life this is why i love endurance sports so much i love it and i hate it it's a love-hate relationship 62 hours I equate that to fucking seven years of life. You can't get that, man. So what I know that Ultra does for me is it packs in. It packs in. I can't, I can't live several lifetimes. I can't. Because the knowledge I need to gain for this life I live in today, I need two or three or four lifetimes to be where I want to go. Ultra gives it to me in fucking high definition real fast. 62 hours you go out there fucking suffer you come back oh that was 62 hours i gained seven fucking years of knowledge the ups and downs the pain the suffering the the you you learn how to chunk this shit down like oh my god man i'm at mile 100 how the fuck am i gonna get to mile 118. everything becomes you you start to learn life out there and you learn so much in such a condensed period of time and nothing in the world can do it like pushing yourself to the absolute limit. I, I, I call it like, so people have talent. People have a lot of talent. And this is going beyond your talent. So when talent, when there's no more talent, what happens to you? Most people quit. People only go to their talent level. And once their talent level is gone, it becomes a mental game. That the whole mental game sets in then. And most people can only perform to their talent. And they realize, man, why am I always messing up right here? Mm. Why, why, why is this like my big, my big hurdle? It's because you're performing to your talent. And then after that, your mind has nothing for you. Mm. Nothing for you. I see, I see fighters. I see runners. I see people who they're great but they get to the edge of their talent. And it's like, fuck man, what, what's, what's up? Because you're now at the point now where your talent ain't gonna do shit for you, my friend. Now it's the mental game. And that's where people get lost in life, get lost in that next level. And that next level is found for me in the things that I do.